So here I'm responding to Lifeboat with Tommy, who's a personal friend of Aaron. And I think for the most part, the video is very good. But I thought it was ironically too generous to what Mike, Mark, and Claire have done. And I understand his reasoning, but I just want to challenge him a little bit with three major points, one of which he makes himself about, well, what is wrong with what is happening? I've already done the other videos. Hopefully that will catch people up. So we'll just have to go in. I assume you know the basics with what's going on with Aaron and Aftermath. I got some emails earlier today, and I've been feeling like hammered crap, which is why I didn't do my normal life book. But I've been laying in bed <coughs> reading emails. And the number of you who have said, I am never going to donate another dollar as long as I live to any one of these organizations. Good God in heaven. First of all, there's been no accusations at all, right? Uh, nothing is, is in any shape or form that this organization was doing anything other than what it was supposed to be doing, right? It was doing good work. We may not like how they dealt with Aaron. It doesn't mean that they're not doing Well, I agree, obviously, you want to help people. And it is true that Aaron has stressed, there's no, quote, besides him, major scandal. He's not saying they're stealing the money. He's not saying anything like that is happening to dead aftermath. However, somebody brought this up, and I double-checked, and this is true. Apparently, Mike Rinder has given himself credit that he co-founded the foundation. Now, this is back in 2018 on his blog, to be fair. So that could have just been a small slip up. But given what's happened, I would suspect that for a while they've been planning to basically take over the foundation and make it their own thing. And this basically false thing of him co-founding the foundation. Why is he doing that? So that's, to me, a big alarm bell that something is not right, that he keeps crediting himself as the co-founder when he's no such thing. There's a second point. And I want to be fair, because one of the aspects of this I don't know too much about. So it's clear that there are two married couples, at least on the board today, right, with Mark and Claire, and yes, Mike and his wife. Some people are saying that Amy and Mark are also married. That I don't know. That I do not know, and I don't want to speculate until I get more information. But it could be there are three married couples on the board. That's a major conflict of interest in any organization. That should not be the case in any foundation, any charity. That's really suspicious. Even if the foundation up until now has done good work, that's a major conflict of interest. So that's pretty alarming. And then there's a third point, which ironically Tommy himself makes about how they're putting themselves out as in terms of running the organization. Guess what? You got a right. As I said, I was the president of a publicly traded company and you would go every once in a while, usually about once a year, you'd have a big stockholder meeting and you would have to go out. And you know what? If a person owned one share of stock in that company, then they could show up and they could ask any questions they wanted and they could uh, they could take up a lot of uh, your time. You know why? Because you worked for them. Because your job was... Uh, the, the representative, basically, of all of those shares of stock and all of those people who invested in that company. It's no different than the charity. Their job, their job was the product. So first of all, did they say it? Yes. If you look at the stream, Mike did say it. And the keyboard warriors who wish to reach conclusions about what happened and why are going to to... They're not saying that they're insulting everyone, but they did say it. And they are talking to potential people who have donated, as well as people who have already donated. And frankly, the stream they put out to respond to Aaron was a joke. They didn't really answer any questions. They just moved on and said, yeah, we're moving on. Let's concentrate on attacking Scientology, which I would agree with as an organized institution. Definitely Scientology should be criticized. But I have a lot of suspicions this is a lot like Ashton Kutcher. It's not as bad, because Ashton, with his charity, Thorn is getting, or was recently getting, a really big salary, really doing nothing. And Thorne today just has a ton of officers. It's got a ton of people with big salaries. And you gotta wonder, what is this all about? What does this have to do with the issue? Now, are they doing anything today, Aftermath, like Ashton? No. But the problem is with the remark about keyboard warriors, Mike lying about being a co-founder, and these married couples on the board, it's just raising a lot of alarm bells that it may in the future, maybe it's not a big thing, maybe it'll be a minor thing, but even if it is only a few hundred dollars, a few thousand dollars, that in the future will be basically stolen, so that's not a big scandal, that is still a betrayal about what the organization should be about. So I don't know, I think Tommy here was just being overly generous about assuming that in the future, 
things will more or less be good. And it's really only the Friends of Aaron's who should be offended. But if you donated before, you should still be donating. I don't know. I think people who have donated before now have a lot of question marks. Uh, those questions have not been answered. So they should probably be okay with not donating or devoting their resources to someone else or something else. So there's nothing, quote, scandalous besides Aaron that Aftermath is doing today. But I think most people are saying in the future, something may happen. And that's enough to be like, well, let's put off donating or volunteering until more things are clarified, at least at this point.